Flexi tails or flexible tap connectors are now very common. You do tend to get something like this now with most new taps. Most of the time they come with a half inch BSP parallel thread on the end there. And that is a female one. It's not always obvious how to connect these up. That is a male flexi tail and that will be a parallel thread which will be half inch BSP. So imagine that is your pipe. What you need to do is get a 15 millimeter compression nut, put that onto the pipe and then get a 15 millimeter olive, slide that onto the pipe and then put your flexi tail on the top of there and tighten up the nut. So that is how to connect a male fitting, that is very easy. Obviously somewhere along this pipe you would have a isolation valve. Female ones are more common and again they are half inch BSP. You can also get 3 8 BSP. And if you look in there there is a ceiling washer. Now years ago I was actually told that you could screw these directly onto a compression fitting like so. So that would screw into there and that will tighten against the rubber washer and then obviously your pipe goes into that end of the compression fitting. I was also told that you could also screw these directly onto a isolation valve like so. And in a lot of cases that will be perfectly fine. However, if you take a look at the end of both of those fittings, you'll see that they are not flat. So there is a chance that that would cut into the washer, damaging it and eventually causing it to leak. I must admit that over the years I have installed a few flexi tails onto fittings like this and it hasn't actually caused any problems yet, but there is a much better idea now. There are two things that you can get that have made connecting a flexi tail much easier. One of them is this, which is a flat faced isolation valve. So on that end, it's 15 mil. So you put your 15 mil pipe in there. That end is flat to connect your flexi tail to. That means that it's not going to damage the rubber washer that is in there. And I do have to thank Alan Smith, who commented on a previous video of mine and actually told me about these for sale. And since then I have actually been buying these because they do make a lot more sense. You can pick these up from the BES website and you can also get them on Amazon and sometimes on eBay. And you can also get these which are flexi tap tail adapters. And if you take a look at the end of that, that is really flat. That would give you a really good seal against the ceiling washer. These are actually designed to go straight into an isolation valve, like so. You can simply put that in there, tighten up the nut, and then you can simply screw your flexi tail straight on the end of there. This time I'm gonna make it a bit easier. I'm gonna get the isolation valve put the tail adapter in there and I'm going to tighten this up before we put it in position. Obviously it's a lot easier now, we can just put that in position and tighten up the bottom compression nut. You can also get these in 15mm by 3 8 for flexi tails that have a 3 8 fitting. So that's two products that can make fitting flexi tails a lot easier and a lot more reliable. I'm not entirely sure how long these have been available for, but years ago I did ask a plumber who was ex-British Gas and he was the one that told me that you could fit a flexi tail to a normal compression fitting or a normal isolation valve. Obviously these days 
as time has progressed we've now got much better options which will give you a much more reliable seal. I will put a link in the description to a couple of videos where I've been using these recently when I've been changing taps etc. Another important point when you're fixing flexi tap tails is to read the instructions. There are quite a few manufacturers now that are recommending that you only screw that end of the flexi tap tail in by hand and they recommend that you don't use a spanner. So obviously you do have to follow the instructions very closely. And I've actually got a set of instructions there from a tap that I recently replaced and as you can see it does say not to tighten them using a spanner. I hope you found this video useful. If you have and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.